what's up everyone so obviously by the title of this video I'm gonna be reviewing the Kodak mini printer they were nice enough to send me all of these products for free to review for you guys and I'm super excited because the printer that I specifically got prints out 2x3 pictures which is pretty much the same as the Fujifilm Instax mini film and I'm just so excited to see the quality and review it for you guys. So thank you again to the Kodak store on Amazon. Everything will be linked down below, but let's just hop right into the video. So they sent me the printer and two refill packs. And so I got the yellow color. It also comes in black and white, which is super nice. And here's just an overview of the box. This printer, you have to have the app on your phone to print pictures, which is super cool since it's Bluetooth. And it prints out with super high quality four pass dye, which I don't know exactly what that means, but that's really cool. From all the videos that I've seen and everything that I've heard about it, it's supposed to be super high quality ink. Ooh, that's a really pretty color yellow. I like the yellow and the red mixed together. Okay, so you obviously get the printer, you get the user's manual, how to download the app, and then you also get the charging cable. Wow, this is a lot smaller than I was expecting it to be, but this is the on button, and then this is where the cartridge goes. And just so that you guys can see, it's a super easy little film door that just opens like that. Really easy to open. So the first thing you have to do is obviously download the app. I'll put a picture right up here of what the app looks like. It's just like the logo on the printer. When you search Kodak, it's one of the first ones that pops up in the app store. And then you just wanna turn on the printer. It's super lightweight too, may I add. So it's gonna be super nice to travel with. To connect it to your phone, you just wanna go into the Bluetooth settings and then it's gonna say Kodak Instant and then on the inside of this door, there's four numbers right here at the bottom, and it's just gonna be Kodak Instant and then those four numbers. So then you connect the Bluetooth, and you open the app, and you're pretty much all set to print. I'm gonna put in a cartridge now. So you just wanna line the cartridge up so that it goes right into the film, just like this. And snap it in. And it actually comes with a film pack already inside the camera. So you can just start using the printer right away and then go into the refills. So yeah, just like that, it's super easy. It didn't really take me too long to figure it out. It just took a while for my phone to have the Bluetooth option open. So yeah, and now it's all ready to print. So I'm gonna pick out a picture. I'm just gonna print out this picture of flowers. And it's really cool because you can actually add a border to the pictures or you can just have it be regular, which is super cool. And then you can obviously reposition the picture, adjust it, you can put filters on it. And then here's just some of the frames. So you could just have white or stripes, which is really cool. I think I'm just gonna leave it without the frame though. And I just wanna see what it looks like, like that. Now it's printing. It's a lot of yellow. Whoa, that is so cool. Okay, that was magenta, now it's cyan. And then the coating. Okay, so that's it. The picture, oh my, the quality of this picture. I'm very impressed for the size of this printer and the price of the film. 
So for a 60 pack of film, so that means you get 60 pictures, it's $30. So that means each picture ends up being 50 cents. And like, this is super duper good quality. So I'm gonna come back to you guys once I have a couple more pictures printed. And you can also tell that it's printing because the little lights flashing, which is really nice. So I printed out four different pictures. This was obviously the first one I printed, which like the quality on this one is so crisp. I don't know if it's just because of the file size that this particular picture was at, but it's like a perfect print of it. Like there's no blurriness, the colors are really nice. I did two pictures of me and then two pictures not of me. So this was one of the selfies that I printed out. It, this one in particular didn't really print out that well in my opinion. The quality of it is really good. I think it's just because there was a really... This one had a Snapchat filter on it, so I think that's kind of why like the quality isn't as nice, just because like the colors and the saturation and just like the effect on this particular one might have thrown off like the print of it. I mean like it doesn't look blurry at all, it's just that like this is a this isn't a very good picture of me, like that huge shine on my forehead. Yeah, I wouldn't say that that's it, but it's still pretty nice. You know, whatever. This is the second selfie that I took, well that I printed a picture of, and this one looks really 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 good. Again, like the colors are just really nice, it's not blurry at all, and overall it's just like a really nice picture. It turned out a lot better than the first one, which is why I think just like the filter that was on the first selfie just like messed with the quality of the picture. Uh, is just this picture that I took from one of my disposable cameras. Again, the quality on this one is really, really nice. It's not blurry at all. It looks just like how it does on my phone, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, overall, like the picture quality on this is amazing. The price of the film is so fair. It's very comparable to other film. Um, but especially for the quality of this film, like it's so cheap, um, which I don't understand how it's that cheap if it's this like nice ink. It printed out really, really quickly. I know for a fact that it took less than a minute. I would say almost 30 seconds, but I would definitely say it takes less than a minute to print, which is awesome, especially if you're on the go since it's so portable. It's going to be really nice if you just want to print out a picture right then and there. But yeah, and then you can also print the pictures with or without borders. I obviously chose to do without borders um, just because I kind of just like the look of it being like a solid picture instead of having a border, but that's completely up to you. The printer itself is $95, but you also get the film with it. I 100% recommend you looking into getting this printer. It's super cute super awesome again thank you so much to the company for sending this to me for free to review it's so worth the money it's gonna be so nice to be able to like go back to some of my old pictures and print them out so that i can have them like forever in a little like printed form since these ones turned out so good and i'm just so excited to keep using this printer like i already want to use all of the film but i really have to pace myself but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i love this printer and i'm sure you guys would really like it too it's so easy so cheap so portable i definitely recommend looking into getting one if you've been looking into getting a printer but don't forget to like and subscribe down below and i will see you guys next time bye